the rivalry, uh, the tradition, uh, again, the pageantry. There's a lot of hate in the heart uh, for uh, each other. Reestablishing OU DNA every day. Headed back to the rugby fields. Feels a little different over there. You gotta do everything to get better and be prepared for the next season. Sony Dex, are you ready? Begin! The championship level in everything that we do. That's what OU DNA is. Hey, congratulations, guys. Got the 5 0, accomplished our goal, uh, got better, uh, started the game hot, uh, started the game hot, interception return for a touchdown on, on play three, and offense comes out, and they, they score on seven of their first eight drives in the game. Dominated the middle eight. Uh, great job dominating the middle eight, won that 17 to nothing. Um, had had a uh, uh, offense, uh, did a great job of putting a lot of pressure on Iowa State. All right, and we have an opportunity. The most exciting thing for me is all the potential of what we're capable of doing if we, we continue to stick to the game plan of how we do what we do, the development process, getting better, challenging one another, challenging yourself, having great self-awareness, taking the accountability, and willing to put your head down and do the work that it requires. All right? You don't luck up and, and show up in Arlington. You don't luck up and, and dominate this conference. It's because of a lot of intentionality, a lot of hard work, a lot of failure, a lot of adversity. And, um, and, and a lot of people committed uh, to a, a singleness of purpose. That's what it's about. And uh, it's gonna be a really exciting matchup. Two top 15 teams. This is more what uh, everybody in college football is used to. One of the best, most tradition-rich rivalries in the history of the game. Uh, I'm not gonna downplay um, you know, the game and the history and the tradition because it means a lot, like I said, to a lot of people. But, um, you know, we're going to go about it, you know, uh, I'm going to look at the, the cards and you're going to look at the cards and we're going to look at some DNA. That's what we're going to look about, look at. And, uh, and then and it's going to come down to effort and toughness. All right. Always has. And the team that's going to win the rushing uh, title and uh, win the turnover battle, nine times out of ten going to win this game. Uh, but the line of scrimmage rushing the football is going to be is going to be one of the most critical. You peel all those papers back. That's going to be one of the most critical things, our ability to rush the football, outrush them, stop the run game on their side, and dominate the run game on our side. All right, that's... A lot of recent years has been... All right. <laughs> Good afternoon. I felt pretty good till Mike came to get me and gave me this amazing stat sheet. Uh, I was convinced that everything was going to be just fine, and uh, <laughs> we got all these these uh, these all star stats here uh, that I had to read over on my way uh, over here. Uh, appreciate that, Mike. And um, it's supposed to be a joke, and uh, I take. Uh, pride in watching people have joy in watching our guys play with incredible effort, fundamentals, toughness, uh, precision, uh, with an edge, uh, with class. I take pride in that. And that's in every single game I've ever coached. Um, I know that's a responsibility of my position as a coach, as a coordinator, uh, certainly as a head coach. It all falls under you as a coach. If you got the right stuff to you, it should matter to you. And, uh, I mean, so I live in this community. I live in this state. I've always, wherever I've been, it's home. It's not a job, it's, it's home. And so I've, I've always taken, uh, again, uh, uh, just n look at myself and there's a huge responsibility in, in part of, um, or maybe the gratification comes from uh, having people uh, that love uh, your team, the Sooners, have pride in, in 
uh, how we're doing what we're doing. Uh, we play football. Uh, we, we win games. But how we do what we do, to me, that's what people take the most pride in. Now, was that Coach Rick Bibble's safe passing to the weekly Brent Bibble's press conference? Wait, there was a good fight around there. Hit! 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 Hit
cutting out some meetings or you know whatever it may be but just helping helping everyone himself staff members players everyone just continue to be efficient and therefore get the mo get the best out of people get the most out of them um, keep their energy up their spirits up um, so that whenever you hit later in the year you don't get that drag and also just some um, great recruiter and bringing in great guys from the portal and really evaluating guys and seeing how will they mesh with our culture or not. Just Not just looking at talent, but looking at what kind of person are they. And, and really just, yeah, building the culture the way he wants it with the, the people that he wants in it and the people that belong and that will strengthen this culture. And I mean, at the end of the day, he's an unbelievable leader, an unbelievable man, an unbelievable husband, father, everything. And it's been great getting to play for him, coming back here and having known him my whole life. And I, I admire him a lot. And I've been trying to, to soak as much as much as I can in, whether it's football or even just as a person, helping me become a better man. Sorry, kind of nice sir. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Grant. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Red Venables, nice to nice meet you. Me, sir. You get the honor today. Yes, sir. Right. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Want to make an introduction? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jeff Casillas, good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Good morning, cadets! Hoorah! Great to be here with you this fine morning. Hey, what a great day. Thank you so much for joining us here today as we continue the tradition of running a game ball from here to the Cotton Bowl down in Dallas, Texas. Hey, it is an absolute pleasure to be here. 26 years that we've done this, right? Is it not exciting? Someone who symbolizes all of those values. People talk about him being the greatest coach in college football. That's true, but more importantly, He's the best person I know, hard stop. Our head football coach, Brent Benables. All right, good morning. I also would like to just thank the uh, Spirit Squad, the uh, Spirit Squad, the Roughnecks, the Pride, uh, my first responders, and all of you for your service. Thank you so much. What an honor it is for me to be able to pass this ball off and get the weekend started off the right way. Uh, you know, this is a this is a game of doing. This is a game of ex execution and precision. So as we start this weekend off the right way, we're counting on y'all, all right, to, to win the first quarter uh, of this game. This is a game that will honor toughness, all right, execution, precision, timing, and most of all endurance. As y'all run from Norman all the way down to Dallas, run the race with endurance. All right. So I'd like to hand this ball off to. Uh, to Grant, come on up, Grant. I entrust this ball with you. Make sure that you got a, a five-finger grip on that bad boy right there. Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate you very much. Good luck. God bless. Attention. Form the tunnel. Fall out. Woo! Let's go. Ready? Let's do it. Woo! What you do as a linebacker is, is challenged right there. Your alignment, your eyes, your hands, how quick you react, okay, the physicality, okay, your hat and hand placement. Some, you know, the old saying that if you want it done right, you do it yourself. Well, I've learned that there's lots of ways to get it done right. So that, that's helped me do what I love to do and be a little bit more involved in the coaching aspect and uh, just being efficient overall in every part of how I run the program as a leader, as a coach, uh, you know, programmatically on the field, off the field. Bubba Whistle, I'm racing here, I'm trying to move that outside. Remember, wipe your face. Two out, get the ball to your feet, now let's go. Uh, as coaches, I think, um, you know, the greatest calling of coaching is the development of people. And there's lots of moms and dads and families and coaches that are passing the baton uh, to our village. And we have a responsibility to, to serve their heart, not their talent, to you know, take them where they can't take themselves. So many of these young people, they show up and they're dysfunctionally attached to the football as their, their foundation in their life. And, and football's amazing. You know, it's a life changer for so many of us. And so we don't want to take that away. There's a, 
We want to be able to equip them uh, and help them transfer all the transferable tools that the game gives you and help you dominate in every part of your life. You know, I know this seeds don't plant themselves, so we got to do a great job through Soul Mission and every other part of our program to plant the right seeds with these guys so that they have an amazing college experience, get their degree, win a championship, and, and, uh, and then have a, a life and a platform of influence and impact, uh, both, again, as, as, as strong men and husbands and fathers. I think that's our responsibility. I think we'll all be held accountable to that one day. And, and I want our players uh, to genuinely uh, love their college experience. So that's all providing the right type of environment uh, a connected relational environment as opposed to a transactional environment that's all about ball uh, in the NFL. Well, I know this, the game means everything to our fan base, uh, both here in the state uh, of Oklahoma and especially those that live south of the Red River. Uh, but it means every bit as much to our guys. Um, the privilege to play in a game like this. You know, one of the things that makes Oklahoma, Texas such a great rivalry is just both of us have experienced over 100 years of excellence. You know, there's many great rivalries in college football, but you're talking about two of the winningest programs in the history of college football. Oklahoma has won the most conference championships in the genesis of college football. So this one takes a back seat to nobody. Uh, having it at a neutral side every year makes it uh, like a bowl game atmosphere, a big time bowl game atmosphere. And, uh, but the, again, the passion, the intensity, uh, the hate uh, in the football world, uh, those are all very, very real things and uh, make it a really special game day environment. Trying to go choice, 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 any time. It's like nothing else in the world, honestly. Um, obviously, you know, you're getting getting that hat that has that means so much to you know our program. Um, you know, being able to take that back to Norman, uh, it's everything. I mean, I love OU. I love playing for OU. Um, to be back at this game, it's obviously the game to me. That's like the biggest one of the year. And so, being able to come back, support the guys, have fun with the guys tomorrow. Um, I just look forward to them, you know, having fun out here and keeping the tradition alive of OU being the, the top dogs coming out of the game. Unbelievable feeling. It's uh, it's kind of creepy not having anybody in here right now, but. Uh, you can feel the energy, you can feel the people outside the stadium and just watching them get the paint ready. It's, uh, this place is special and it, it'll always have a special place in my heart. This is OU Texas, where the hate runs deep and the game means everything. We're open OU fans, so this rivalry is everything to me. It's, uh, it's a special weekend. The best memory is definitely that touchdown to Mark uh, to seal the deal, but uh, I get goosebumps thinking about walking down the tunnel. It gets the nerves going, it gets, uh, gets your juices flowing, and it's, it's a special place and a uh, great tradition. The greatest game in American sports unfolds yet again today. And even by this rivalry's own lofty standards, this one has a little extra sauce on it. Oklahoma is undefeated. Texas is undefeated. Both have their sights squarely set on the final Big 12 title before heading off to the SEC. And both know that with a win today, even better and bigger things could be in store for them in this 2023 season. First, get on the bus. Really, you didn't sleep the night before. And I love it that it's an 11 o'clock game because it's like, let's wake up and fight. Man, it's, it's a unique experience. Uh, it's one of a kind. Just going through Dallas and, you know, being in a big city like that with the, with the police escort and then just out of nowhere, you're in, you're in the state fair and 
just a sea of people that you're driving through. A lot of stuff going through your head, you know, experiencing that, seeing all the fans. You know, it's really bigger than life type of moment. In my mind, I always looked at, if I could see more red than I saw orange, I knew it was gonna be, you know, in our favor, just with our fan base. There's really nothing better than that, and you pull up to the stadium and everything else fades away and it's time to go. Yeah, the tradition, the history, and this is this is what college football is all about. So. This is the yeah, the passion, the intensity, it's very real, it's tangible. When you walk uh, into that stadium, um, it's very palpable. There's a lot of hate and heart for each other. That you must repay with urgency. Money. Money is number one. Who number two. Who? What's number three? Ass whooping. Ass whooping. Ass whooping. This is freaking Oklahoma. You hear me? Put the world on notice who you are. This is what it's about, man. This is why you come to Oklahoma. All right, go dominate. And let's go be a champion today. Everybody understand? Yes, a season of redemption right here. Let's go. Let's go. Bring this redemption. Let's go. Bring this Work. One, two, three. Work. Let's go, man. Openers again, making sure we got great awareness of the clock. We got oh, wait. the counter battle with him. Right. Right. Last year, remember that feeling in your head? Okay. And for the new guys, hey, you'll feel it from me. I swear to God, man, the way we win this game, physicality. All four fing quarters. One, two. They gotta feel us, man. One, every fing day. Yep. I'm certain about two things in fing life. I'm certain that one, Oklahoma only fears God. Mm. And number two, Texas fears Oklahoma! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Season of redemption. We've been putting in that work. The harvest is, is now. The harvest is now. Time, words, and opportunities. Right here, right now, this opportunity. Dominate this moment. Dominate this moment. Sacrifice, look around. The guy to the left, the guy to the right. Sacrifice for one another. That's what great teams do. That's what great teams do. Shadows. We are out of the shadows. Out of the shadows. Texas Longhorn. Five wide here for Texas. Ewers looks right, wants to throw, does. It's intercepted! Intercepted! Gentry Williams! He picked it off! Stoops goes in motion. Gabriel's gonna run it himself up the middle. He's to the five. Touchdown! Dylan Gabriel right up the gut of Bebo! And the Sooners strike first in Dallas! Fellas, gotta stay poised. It's a long ass game. Make your eyes open. Got some things. Sarkeesian feeling something had to change early, and he rolls the dice, Kirk. Say that for the incident, I'm coming for payback. Automatic, no games. Must have thought I'll pay Jack. 
Jackson the throw across the middle, caught, busted, intercepted, Kendall Dolby off the deflection, and they're not overturning this one. Bad boy like Diddy, yeah, you know what pops is a grizzly, oh, drop a rat with his gritty, hey, you better cover some bad guy, this is the time of the act, though. Here's the punt, out of the end zone is blocked, and Texas has a touchdown. Texas blocked the punt. Go, get it, go, get it, go, get it, go, go, get it, go, get it, go, get it. We about to go, we about to go, go, get it, go, get it, go, get it. Gonna launch one deep down the sideline for Farouk, looking back, and he caught it! Has the 21 fallen backwards, double O Q! Hold is down. Kick is away, and it is a good one. And the Sooners take the lead back. Not the one that you better cross. How do you have for a chance? Since then, I've been better off. Been about that game. Rolls through his left now. Spins back to the right. He cuts it down. Tries to run. Got it! Ewers rolls right. Looks. Throws wide open. Man, touchdown. Get it, go, get it, go, get it. Go, get it, go, get it, go, get it, go. Go, get it, go, get it, go, get it. We about to go, go, we about to go, 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 get it, go, get it, go, get it. Go, get it, go, get it, go. Outside the one, Gabriel. Hand off Walker, touchdown. Easy like Sunday morning. Tawi. Hold is down, kick is away, we, we and it is through, and we are tied. 17-17, with a buck 53 to go until to go. refreshments. Go, get it, go, Circling get away, Farouk, down the sideline, 40, 35, 30 yard line, and tackle. Dumps it across the middle, caught by Walker. Takes it to the 20, spins out of a tackle, still on his feet, running sidelines, thrown down at the seven. That good, hold down. Kick is away, and it is good. And the Sooners do indeed take the lead into the locker room. Firework, you got inside. All reality, when we haven't had success, it's been us. It has been us. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. You guys got that? Pressure, pressure, pressure. The standout that our mind game and the way we approach this shit was a whole nother level from what those guys over there in Orange ever thought about. The way you operate out on that football field is big. All good? Yes, sir. Dig deep. Remember that feeling. Remember that feeling. Over the last 12 months, we've been talking about our will. Okay? That's what we've been talking about. That's what we've been living. Our will got to be bigger than the skill. I told you it's going to be a four-quarter game. Okay? And we got to go take it. All right? The victory's there. The opportunity's there. Now you got to go take it. All right? You got to pose your will. Take okay? one drive at a time. Together. You understand? All three phases. This is going to be our best half of football right here. Yeah. Football right here. Let's go. Finish. One, two, three. Finish. 20 to 17 OU as we get set for the second half here in the Red River Rhyme. But I run it up on the cover, get a couple bucks, man. How do you feel for real? Hit me coming, I build and build. Tell them shop, we're gonna show it. I yield and steal. You can never kill the real. You know when the skills reveal. You know I ain't losing my focus, twisting my fingers. I'm giving the motion. Letting my folks know that it's time to roll. Let me Gabriel hands the walker up the middle, turning. It's Tawi. Pressure wrapped up, dropped, wow. Ethan Towns, second sack today. Hewers to throw, four-man rush, steps up in the pocket, he'll oh. run. He's at midfield, hit hard, balls out, rolling around on the turf, Gentry Williams got it! Shooters recover! Right, Brooks, nice. stood up, pushed back, still churning, still pushing. Snap, hand off up the middle, Stop. pushed back, didn't get it! Oh. On the two, fourth down, quick throw, caught in the slam by Worthy, folded up, did he get in? I don't 
think he got there. I don't think he got there. The Sooners turned away people on the goal line. Makes a cut, bounced outside 30. 35 open field. He's to the 50. It's a race cut from behind. 35-yard line tackled at the 30. Dylan Gabriel in the open field. It's just beginning. Snap back. Hold down. Kick got clear. Does it have the distance? It's holding up and it's short. Texas tempos to the line of scrimmage. It's a handoff. Brooks running left, cuts it up to the 25. Watch out, 20. 15 to the 10. Down the sidelines. Touchdown. kicker for the lead from 46 snap back pulled down kick is away he has the distance and it is good ball. with plenty of distance Burt Auburn puts Texas up three with 117 to go take a deep breath and uh Hopefully come out victorious and it'll go down as one of the greater memories that I have playing here at the University of Oklahoma. I think last year I got a lot of experience in, in just the festivities and the things outside of the game um, because I wasn't playing in it. Dylan Gabriel denied the chance to be on this field. Ripped his heart out to have to watch with a concussion. Well, DG, see if you can answer. 117, no timeouts. Gabriel has it, back to pass. Look at middle, slings it across the middle, caught by Stoops, first down out across the 35 to the 37. What a throw. Sooners quickly over it, snap, Gabriel. Looking near side this time, fires it out here for Roop to catch 45, spins up field, keeps his feet 50, down the sidelines, out of bounds. At the Texas 48, touchdown could win it. Gabriel back to pass, looks near side under pressure, steps up in the pocket. Looks late, throws late, stoops the catch at the 30, 25 yard line, he's to the 20, wrapped up at the 19. How things have changed. Oklahoma has a chance to win it. Snap to Gabriel, looks near side, pump fake, looks back, takes a shot down the sidelines, that's got to be a P.I. and here comes the flag. Nick Anderson being held by Terrence Brooks. First and goal from the 6, 42 seconds, no timeouts. Snap, Gabriel looks left, he'll run it himself, he's to the 5, he's to the 4. 23 seconds, Gabriel has the football, looks to throw, he's under pressure, he lobs in zone! been a part of one like that. No, I, swear. Yeah, I just have yeah, everything that happened in that game. The ups, the downs, the highs and lows, the adversity, the, the gotta make a play, gotta have it moments, the turnovers, the big plays, the heart, the guts, the toughness. 
I told you guys, y'all just decide on how good you want to be. Straight out. And we've been talking about building something special or not. Yeah. You're dang right. We six and oh. We got to be one and all this week, and we got the whole back half of the season to play. Yes, sir.